Hey yo, what's going guys, we're here and today we're going to be doing a drag race between this Avalon TRD against the one and only supercar, the 2020 McLaren Senna. We're going to be seeing which one of these two cars goes faster in a drag race. And um, before this video starts, I want to discuss a few things, which is uh, I will be showing the tunings for these cars and later in this video. I'll be showing the price of these cars. I'm pretty sure the Avalon is a um, code car, but I'll make sure of that. And I will also be telling you guys how this drag race is going to work. So... Let's talk about how the drag race is going to work. As you can see, the McLaren Senna is not on the other side there. Why not? Because this is a timed drag race. I'm going to be putting this car, and we're going to go all the way down to the end of the road, and there's going to be a timer. So once I say go, a timer will pop up on the screen, and we're going to go all the way down to the end of the road where there's a signal light. Once we do that, uh, the timer will stop, and that will be the time for this car. Then I come back, put the McLaren Senna in the exact same place, and then do the exact same test, and the car with the faster speed obviously wins the drag race. So that's how the drag race is going to work. Uh, next thing is I got a Roblox group with Roblox merch. If you're interested in joining, I got a Discord group. You can join if you want to suggest car builds, car reviews, car deals, or anything car related, any more drag races, any games. Go to the Discord and suggest that. And I got some social you can follow all the links in the description below. My name is Hypod, do car reviews, car things, like car stuff. If you can do like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell for notification every time I upload a new video. But yeah, that's how the drag race is going to work. That's how all my socials works. And, and if you guys haven't liked or subscribed yet, you guys should. But yeah, let's get into this Avalon TRD here. Let's turn this bad boy on and so and, and get it ready. So let's turn it into traction control off and semi-automatic. Rev it up, let it get to 9 PSI and send it. So in 3, 2, 1 go and the timer should have started there we go second third fourth shifting very cleanly letting it hit all the way till the end so we get the max amount of top speed we can get out of the car and we're continuing on 180 190 almost 200 miles an hour here but the car seems to be uh starting to top out but here we are in eighth gear when we hit eighth gears on most cars in south of florida the, the car goes a little slower but 210 is what we're hitting and we can probably keep going a little bit we can nudge out a few more t miles an hour we still got a little, a little bit to go so the signal light is all the way down here by the starbucks not this one but just the one ahead of it but we're about to pass it now so in three two one passing the line now that's the time for this car what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back all the way over to the end of the road get the mclaren senna out and see if the mclaren senna can beat the time for this avalon trd so i'll see you guys back over at the starting line all right now that we get the mclaren senna here why don't we turn it into semi-automatic put traction control on and send it so in three two one go off the line we got a pretty pretty good launch all the way into fourth gear here going really quick into the hundreds of miles an hour now will the avalon be able to beat this car the avalon did get to 200 admittedly a lot slower than this car however it hit a pretty high top speed so will the mclaren center be able to well prevail so 209 the avalon hit 211 and we're still stuck at 209 so the avalon might be able to pull ahead slightly 212 is what the avalon actually hit but still 210 mclaren senna isn't catching up to that so will it be able to match its time passing the line now both times are up on the screen and the winner is clearly seated on top so um th that's the times for these cars i want to reset really quickly so we can go back to the dealership and check out the price of these two cars i'm pretty sure the avalon is a code car i'm not 100 sure the code was a while ago but um, let's walk into here and check it out. But yeah, the times for these cars are still up on the screen. And I mean, it might be a pretty good gap for all I know. Let's go to the supercar section really quickly so we can see the price of the McLaren Senna. I don't know why it went away. I'm not, I'm, oh, I somehow moved. Okay, anyways, supercar section. Let's find ourselves the McLaren Senna, which should be somewhere in here. We got the McLaren, McLaren. Oh, wait, it's a hypercar, right? No, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. I'm, I'm lying. Don't listen to me. Uh, supercar, supercar, super, 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 super. Is the McLaren Senna just not in the game anymore? Oh, there it is. $1.2 million for a McLaren Senna. Pretty high price, if you ask me. Let's scroll around and look for our, the Avalon TRD. Uh, this isn't it. That That's not the right Al Avalon. Definitely not. Um, but uh, if it's not in here, it was a code car. And by the looks of it, I can't find it, which means it was. But closest thing to this car would probably be this. Would it hit the Titan's top speed? I am not sure. Would you like to risk it? If you want to buy it and test it out, sure. Uh, but the Avalon TRD was uh, a code car. However, we're still going to go show the tunings for both these cars, unless you guys somehow managed to have the TRD. I'm pretty sure the TRD came out like a year ago now. It was pretty, pretty long time ago when we got the TRD in the game. Uh, but yeah, let's go over here. Engine, stage 3, forced induction, stage 3, race brakes, no rate reduction. No, wait, reduction. Grip tires, race transmission, no suspension, no wheel with no drive terrain. Differential is the same. Steering is the same. Gearing is 3.458. And that is the tuning for this car. Just pause the video if you need to see any of that. And let's go over and do the McLaren Senna now, which is right here. See, because I can see the McLaren Senna now because I'm 
somewhat blind, but not as blind um, as some other people I know. Just kidding, just just me. Uh, anyways, uh, engine stage three, forced induction stage three, race brakes, race re weight reduction on this. Uh, I've tested it stock, it goes slower. So race weight reduction, grip tires, race transmission, no suspension, no wheel width, no drive terrain. Um, no differential, no steering, gearing changes 4.273, make sure everything is the same, just pause the video on each one, and just check to make sure, because I modded these cars a long, long time ago when I, like, first started playing the game, but yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys did, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what car, what game, what thing I should do next, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next Drag Race, or video, or update, hopefully the update comes out soon, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, Goodbye.